It's that time again. You guessed it. It's drip marketing time. Today is September 7th. And in terms of who we're assuming it's going to be, it's got to be someone from a tribe we haven't gotten yet. So the, you know, uh, Clint of a Plenty or, you know, the Feather and Flowers. So you can actually see some areas in the game already. And based off of that information, we're assuming it's going to be Chaska. But at least maybe a four star or something, you know, at least a four star, like Oran, you know, something. So we have ourselves. Yeah, let's there you go. Nice. Nice. Look at it, man. Dang. I'll be honest. I thought he was going to be like the one of the short models. No, he's a tall. It's our first tall electric male. Oh, shoot. Please be good. <laughs> Please be good. Not even the most intransigent of patients can come close to matching his stubbornness. Once he's made his mind up, it's almost impossible to change it. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, I don't worry about him, though. Uh, he has his own way of thinking, and I'm sure he'll manage just fine, no matter what his crazy world throws at him. Casually muttered by, oh, Aoife, uh, as he jotted down a medical report. Oh, so it's like they're cool. Okay. Or somewhat cool. They know each other. Uh, Oran, I, keep, I, call him, oh, I just call him Oran. Shadow of the Nightwind, Shrouded Bat of Mc, McLan? McTlan. Electro Vampire? <laughs> what? Is that what he's supposed to be? Yeah, it looks cool, man. It looks cool. There have been a lot of characters like this as of, as of late, like, uh, like Moza from Star Rail, and now you got this guy, and. Yeah, a lot of just dudes with hoods, you know? But there's your short excerpt. Uh, here's your longer one. Shadow of the Night. One scorchingly hot afternoon, a young man closed his front door behind him, then turned to say goodbye to the seedlings in his yard. Good afternoon. Just heading out for a bit. Hope you guys grow a bit uh, greener by the time I come back. You got this. He returned with a friend not long after, uh, offering a kindly heads up as they walked past a large tree by the entrance. Big pine cones and roots have gotten a lot, have gotten a bit out of hand lately, so be careful on the trip. That land is a weird and wonderful land, and the good Dr. Aoife, having grown up here, was no stranger to Oran's odd way of speaking. He remembered that long ago, an alpaca named Little Pineco and had bumped into that same tree, which may explain why Oran referred to that as Big Pine Pineco. Is that even a pine tree? Uh, thought Aoife, though he didn't inquire further. It is a weird and wonderful land indeed. It is a nation that embraces all living beings, whether their paths in life have been smooth or not so smooth. All things have, all things have their cause, give rise to their effects, and in the end, serve their purpose. The flawed and sly and stubborn all shall burn, flowing together as a brilliant, vibrant soul fire. All right. I guess uh, it's not so bad after all. I feel like he was kind of, they kind of portray him as somebody who's like, ooh, you know, bad guy, but no. I mean, not even really. They kind of show him as somebody who's like being the victim or like being held hostage by Capitano. But he seems to be, he's fine. So yeah, he seems like he's cool. Taking care of people and looking out for uh, alpacas, stuff like that, you know? So, all right. So confirmed, we do have Oran, right? Or Oran, Oran. Then, yep, yep, okay. As expected. Wow. There is Chaska. Yeah. Looks good, man. Looks great. She always she looked good in the first uh, Nightland quest, too. The first Archon quest for Nightland. It says, We have come to a full and thorough understanding of the folly and recklessness of our recent actions and agreed to set aside our differences. Oh, it's going to be his sister, isn't it? and move forward as one. The statement has been drafted entirely of our own free will with no objections whatsoever. Additionally, we would like to thank the peacemaker for her outstanding contributions with respect, a facilitating or to facilitating this reconciliation. A heartfelt joint statement of the re reconciliation made by a pair of sh chiefs after a intertribal conflict. Jaska Skyborn Arbiter. Wow, that's a title. That just makes me think of, like, the Arbiter from Halo in the sky. <laughs> Skyport Arbiter. 
Oh, I see. Okay, there you go. She's the, she's the peacemaker. I feel like her sister would be the peacemaker. Peacemaker of the Talacan? Talacan? Animo and Volter Griffiths. Nice. These artists knew which side to show. <laughs> and now let's look at the longer one. There's no hope for this child. You know I can't accept that either, but please, just give up. This was the first conflict that Chaz has experienced in her life. Just what's wrong with this kid? Was she raised by a Kikusaurus or something? No, yeah, she actually was. <laughs> she actually was. No wonder why she's so wild. This is the first, or this, this was one of the first, there's no first there. This was one of the countless conflicts that Chaska faced after returning to the Flower Feather Clan. Though her childhood memories were already blurry, Chaska still remembered the emotions starting beneath those words. Disappointment, pain, bitterness, and frustration. People were caught in the web of emotions, forever entangled in conflict. But conflicts could eventually be resolved. All it takes is a turning point. Craw! A Kikisaurus soaring high up in the sky just so happened to catch sight of the helpless child crying piteously for food down below. At least give me a heads up next time, a young girl after practically having searched the length and breadth of the, the mountains, puffed with anger after finding her runaway sister. Perhaps many conflicts weren't as deeply rooted or as difficult to transcend as people imagine. Gear packed and bullets loaded, Chaska, who has who has now fully fledged peacemaker, or who was now a fully fledged peacemaker, stepped through the door to embrace the morning breeze. This time it is my turn to resolve some conflicts. Lowering the brim of her hat, she smiled to herself. Just like that. All right, I like that one. Yeah, that one kind of gave you a little bit of backstory. Skyborn Arbiter. So we know that she is a she is a animo bow, uh, and it's interesting though because when it comes to bow characters, a lot of them don't actually use their bow, right? A lot of them have crazy abilities that are completely separate from their actual bow. You know, I mean, Tartagula switches stances. Yalon can go invisible and dash through enemies. You know what I mean? A lot of bow characters don't really use their bow. They do something entirely different. So, definitely looking forward to Chaska because Animo I'm always excited for because Animo is always fun in some way, you know? Whether it's like rolling around with Sayu or jumping in the air with Kazuo or flying with Wander or, you know what I mean? Jumping, plunging with Zhao. Or you're just like, you know, Farazan where you get your buffs. But can't say I'm too excited for Oran. But I am happy that he's an Electro, and I hope that he's going to be... I hope it's going to just be, like, a supporter. We really don't need more Electro DPSs, man. We really don't. Like, you really do not need more DPSs. Every single time we get an Electro character, it's always another DPS. Whether it's a 4-star or a 5-star, you know what I mean? Like, just give us a supporter for Electro, or make it so that they buff Electro, or something. Give us a supportive Electro, right? And then Chaska, she could be anything, honestly, DPS or supporter. I would rather her be a supporter, but if she's gonna have really cool gameplay, I guess she could be like Sean Yoon, where it's like, you know, Sean Yoon can jump around and is very mobile, but yet she's a healer and a buffer for plunging. But yeah, definitely excited for, always excited for Animo. Animo is like, what's, what are they going to bring to the table this time, you know? So, all right. Uh, don't know if Oran's the four star or the five star here. I'm assuming Chaska's going to be the five star. But yeah, so Shadow of the Night Wind and then, yeah, f uh, Feather Flower Clan. Or Flower Feather Clan. So, yeah. I'm excited for her. I uh, love her design. If you were aware of like the beta of Genshin when Mona was in it, this is basically Mona's outfit. Mona's beta outfit was basically like this. It wasn't cowboyish, but basically just take off one of the stockings that she had on, like her left stocking on her left leg, 
and it looked like that. Like, so that's basically kind of, kind of like a reference or a callback, you know? Or like a reuse of it. So, uh, and for a third person game, you know, uh, you'll definitely notice Chaska's, uh, outfit. So, <laughs> but yeah, that'll be all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one.